Scorpios. Hello, hello. It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. <laughs> Fixing my thing there. And I'm coming at you guys to give you your general love reading for December 4th of 2021. I can't believe we're already almost, what, 20, 21 days from Christmas. It's crazy. Time is going by so fast. That's why you have to just enjoy every moment of your life. You know what I mean? Enjoy just being alive and being able to bless other people. And you know what I mean? No matter what you're going through in life, Scorpio, just make sure that you know that you're being fucking, you know what I mean? You're grateful for all the good things. Because sometimes, you know, when bad things happen, that's all we can focus on. But just the fact that you're alive, you survived a pandemic. Millions of people lost their lives, Scorpio, and you're still alive. So you got to make sure that you're happy, you know what I mean? And you're grateful, okay, no matter what is going on. So I just channeled that message. I guess somebody needed to hear that today, okay? So um, it's good to see you, though. Welcome back. If you're, sure, if you're coming back and you've been here before, if it's your first time here, welcome. I love all the newbies. It's good to have the newbies here. And, um, of course, shout out to all my members. I have a new members read coming. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. And um, if you're not a member yet, click that join button. I'll definitely encourage you as well to check out the description box below. There's a lot of information there as far as how to book a personal reading with me. All of my social media information. And there's also a link to the extended reading for this read. If you feel like it resonates and there's some other good goodies down there as well. Whoa, okay. Okay, your car is just flying out. Okay, that was too many to take, but okay. So let's get right into the read. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. I would appreciate that. And click that join, um, not the join button. Oh, if you want to be a member, click the join button. But also, look how your cards keep flying out. What the hell going on with you, Scorpio? Also, don't forget to click the bell button below, okay? That'll notify you every time I go live or I post a new Scorpio read, okay? So let's see what's going on with my Scorpios, because your cards just keep flying out. Like, y'all needed this read in a day. All right, what's going on with my Scorpios? Let's just do a freestyle spread for you. What's going on with my Scorpios in love? First card is always the strongest. The King of Swords. Oh, shit. Well, I got a feeling that's you. <laughs> but some of my Scorpios, that's you being all cold and, 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 and solid and, you know what I mean, not taking no shit. You know what I'm saying? Not letting nobody get close to your heart. The Eight of Cups. Oh, no wonder you walked away from somebody or something. Some of y'all walked away from somebody or a situation. Or I see you emotionally abandoning abandoning a situation with the Eight of Cups. That's Scorpio energy. The world. Oh, yeah. You close out a cycle here. What's going on, Scorpio? Some of y'all got some travel coming up. The holidays are around the corner, so that makes sense. Wow. The strength card. Whoa. Leo energy. Okay. Wow, Scorpio, your energy is powerful. Five of swords in reverse in the center of your spread. The Six of Swords in Reverse. Wow. Four Cups in Reverse. Ace of Coins. Last card, please, for how Scorpio is feeling in love. The devil in reverse. Overall energy is the nine of swords in reverse. Okay. This doesn't look too bad. You got a lot of major arcana cards here. A few. You got the world, the strength card, and the devil in reverse. Okay. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. We got Leo here. We got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So let's get right into it before I even clarify. Um... So what I'm getting so far is I see you really trying to take more control of your life. 
You know what I mean? The King of Swords is like a, um, a stern energy. Sometimes it could be the energy of cutting somebody off. It could be the energy of just standing your ground about a specific situation. You know what I mean? The King of Swords is normally seen in the tarot as like the judge, you know, an attorney, you know, somebody who's who's very, you know, a surgeon, like somebody who's very like, this is it, stay, you know, strict to laws, strict to what they believe in. Um, they kind of put emotions to the side and look at something from a logical standpoint. Okay, and then with the eight of cups, that can usually mean, as you know, if you watch tarot, you know, that usually means walking away from a situation or emotionally abandoning a situation, withdrawing yourself, especially with the four of cups here as well, because this is also my card about like retreating, kind of being to yourself, you know what I mean, or from a specific person. And then you got the world card. The world usually symbolizes closing out a cycle, closing out a cycle, ending something, and it could mean starting a new cycle. Okay, because it is the last card of the major arcana. Um, and then you got strength, okay, which is an excellent card to get because obviously we know all my Scorpios are mentally strong. You know what I mean? Again, another card about standing your ground, having courage, you know what I mean? Um, being able to um, control any type of feelings you may have, you know, anything that may try to have you out of control. I feel like you're in control. Um, five of swords is in reverse here. I like that because this is all about keeping your peace. You know what I mean? Um, trying to, you know, stay in a peaceful energy. Six of swords in reverse can kind of sometimes mean like shit hasn't really been going too well or shit has been kind of like rocky, you know what I mean? Either between you and somebody else or in general in life, you know what I mean? And really trying to figure out which way you're going to go. But whatever that case may be with the ace of coins and the devil in reverse, I feel like you don't want anything. You freed yourself from something with the devil in reverse. Whenever I see this card, this is my card about being, you know, freedom. This is my card of not being in bondage anymore, not letting anything have you tied down to it. Because we know the devil card is all about, you know, unhealthy attachments, toxicity. Okay. Things that we can't free ourselves from. Okay. With it being in reverse, you freed yourself from something. For some for some of you, it's something that was toxic or someone. You know what I mean? It could have also been a mindset, the way you've been thinking about certain things. I feel like you've cut that out. You know what I mean? And the ace of coins, of course, is a big opportunity from the universe. Um, it could be something to do with finances. It could be a job. It could be a new relationship or it just could be you looking for something more solid. You know what I mean? Um, that you know is going to, it's like a seed. I always see that card as like a seed from the universe. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and clarify these bad boys here. Don't forget personal readings. You can email me at misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. And I will continue this reading over on Vimeo. There's an extended reading link below if you are interested and you feel like this reading is resonating. Okay. And don't forget Scorpios. I have a whole other channel dedicated to you, Miss Hawaii Scorpios. So please go ahead and subscribe to that when you get a chance. Okay. So why are you the king of swords? Let's see. Because I really feel like this is you. I mean, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But for a lot of you, I feel like the king of swords is you. But let's see. Show me the king of swords. The king of cups. It is you. <laughs> With the tower. Whoa. Double Scorpio energy. You, had a, you have a tower moment here. Like I always say in my readings, towers don't always necessarily mean something bad happens. Some readers, they, they always see the tower as a bad thing. The tower is not a bad thing to me because to me, the tower, it's unexpected, which can throw people off. But I feel like the tower is good because it's things that didn't have a strong foundation to begin with. These are towers that we build up ourselves. You know what I mean? For example, it could be a job that you're very unhappy at. You know what I mean? But you fucking, you don't want to be there every day. You know you don't want to be there. You know what I mean? But something suddenly happens where the place gets closed down. It's a good thing because you hate that job. But then it's also a bad thing because it's unexpected. Now you have to look for another job and build a new tower. But in all reality, it's a good thing because you weren't happy to begin with. Do you get what I'm saying? The same thing with a relationship or a friendship or a move. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like the tower is here. Either you cut somebody off or something could have happened here. You could have had this tower moment 
where you really felt like it was time to step up as the king of swords you're still you're still a scorpio king of cups you know what i mean you still are full of love you still have all these emotions in you but the king of cups knows how to manage those emotions so for some of you this could mean somebody that you actually do love but you feel like the tower is here and it you know what i mean it may be time to let this situation go okay we got the six of swords in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse it could be somebody that you actually do have feelings for that you care about deeply that you kept going back to but with the ten of pentacles in reverse you don't see this as being a solid foundation for you something that you can invest in something that you see yourself in long time to come you get what i'm saying let's see the eight of cups and it takes strength to do that that's why you got the strength card because you have so many people they stay in these relationships and these you know with these jobs you know people get comfortable even though they're unhappy and they're they're afraid to make boss moves and it's like just make yourself happy dude like you're the only person standing between you and your happiness why the eight of cups here clarify the eight of cups please the six of cups with the nine of wands in reverse for a lot of you this is somebody from your past that's just been fucking exhausting you you're tired for some of you maybe you've been waiting for somebody from your past to come back for some of you you've been you know kind of living in the past okay but i feel like it's done nothing but fucking exhaust you and the nine of wands in reverse can also mean like retreating like giving up you know what i mean um ace of swords three of pentacles in reverse and the world <sighs> yeah it's like you got clarity here from the universe with the ace of swords and for some of you shit just wasn't moving there could be issues with you guys just getting along or just coming together there could be a third party here but i feel like with the world here again uh, I feel like you're 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 walking into something new now some of y'all are like i just want something new like because some of you have been waiting for this person for a long time possibly for this person to come back possibly for this person to change let's see the world card the ace of swords there it is again that clarity from the universe with the devil in reverse capricorn energy the same energy my ace of swords card is like the universe dropping knowledge on you the universe like oh because you know sometimes like something may be lingering around in your head but it's like you'll kind of get confirmation like you'll see something or or fucking you could just fucking think of something like it can just because sometimes you can think of things but it's like one day it just hits you in a different air, different way and you're like i never really saw it like that like it's time i feel like that happened with a lot of y'all three of pentacles again in reverse and the high priestess wow following your intuition too scorpio you're very intuitive okay why the three of pentacles in reverse because some of y'all, you were involved in a third party thing here. The Wheel of Fortune with the Magician in reverse. Wow. Sometimes a Magician in reverse, and I've said this before, sometimes a Magician in reverse can be you actually manipulating or deceiving yourself. Like seeing an illusion. You know what I mean? Wheel of Fortune. You've got, I mean... You got shit working out in your favor, Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune is my favorite card. It's a card about destiny, fate, things moving in your favor now. Good luck. Okay? But I feel like, again, you went from within. And, you know, your intuition, clarity from the universe is telling you here that it is time to let destiny take the wheel. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to force anything. You know, if somebody wants to be here, they would be here. You know, too many readers, they make excuses for for people. You know what I mean? Um, oh, they don't, you know, they, they're just, you know, they're just scared. They're just this. They're just that. They're just, you know, they have a fear of commitment. And, um, you know, they, they just, no, if you want to be with me, you'll be here. 
show me the strength card. I don't want to hear none of those excuses. Because I know how powerful I can love. So I want somebody that, you know, loves me that much where nothing can stand in their way. You know what I mean? Strength card. Two of Pentacles with the Two of Wands in reverse. You're managing. You're managing. Five of Cups, you miss them though. I mean, you know, you don't want to, I feel like you don't want to lose this person. I feel like you don't, you know what I mean? It, it hurts because, you know, as Scorpios, we love so intensely. But your person is coming up as the King of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Your person is coming up like they're not doing anything. Like they're being very cold towards you, to be honest with you. Or distant. There could be problems with commitment. This person could be in another relationship with somebody else. And I feel like some of y'all have been dealing with this for a long time. Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse. The page of swords oh you know this person has been watching you though you know that they keep tabs on you you know what i mean from afar you know that they definitely spy on you and things like that some of you have been keeping tabs on them as well okay and look at you though three of swords i'm telling you for a lot of y'all it's a third party situation this person could be in a relationship with somebody else, but it's like you can still feel them, but it's like it's tearing you up. You know what I mean? And um, you're 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 doing it because you're a Scorpio. You're strong. You're in, you you endure, but I can see the pain. Show me the Five of Swords in reverse. The world again with the lovers oh man gemini energy it's like it's like i want my peace miss hawaii like i know i feel a strong connection with this person but i'm tired of feeling like this You know what I mean? The world is also a card about like, there's so much out there to explore. You know what I mean? There's so many other possibilities out there. There's so much more I could be doing. I could be seeing right now instead of waiting on this person. The six of cups, the judgment card, it hits you like a ton of bricks, didn't it? And I keep seeing it's about this past energy, Scorpio, the six of cups again. Like it's a past person that's got you. But you're realizing with the judgment card that this has been, you know what I mean? A little bit too much for me. Let's see the six of swords in reverse. And the problem can be for some of you is like, for some of you, this person keeps coming back to you. Or it's like you can feel this person's energy just hasn't let you go. Show me the six of swords. Because we're Scorpios, we can tap into all of that shit. The Ten of Cups in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. Again, the same energy. You know what I mean? Um, there's something that this person is doing that's causing you to not be happy. Six of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups. Yeah, there's something that this person is doing or they're not doing. That's You're, you're not happy, Scorpio. No matter how much you love this person, no matter how much a connection you feel with this person, you're, you're not happy. Something here is making you feel sad making you feel like you don't have them you've lost them making you feel like you're failing in this connection ten of cups in reverse is like this is not your wish fulfillment it's not this is not the way you saw it let's see the four of cups in reverse Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not going to be like some of these fake ass readers that want to give y'all fairy tales and shit. If I see a fairy tale in the cards, I'm going I'm to preach it. But if that's not what I'm seeing, I'm going to keep it real with you. 
You got the Six of Pentacles in reverse, clarifying the Four of Cups in reverse with the Tower in reverse. Scorp more Scorpio energy. Again, you have to retreat. You have to withdraw from this because your person is not meeting you halfway with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're giving more than them. The Hermit. The fool in reverse could be an Aries or a Virgo. You're going within with the hermit card. Okay. The fool is in reverse. Like I'm not quite ready just yet to jump into anything serious with anybody right now. But I'm just kind of like in this energy to with myself. Show me the hermit card. The empress. Woo my Scorpio right there and you're doing this because you know your worth the Empress knows she's the shit the Empress knows that she is a catch male or female the Empress is an energy of like I'm abundant you know what I mean I know what I'm bringing to the table like that's the reason why I have to be the hermit now because show me the fool in reverse and your person can just be acting kind of like carefree the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're not really ready just yet. You know you want something strong. You want something committed. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is here. But a lot of you right now are choosing to focus on your finances instead of jumping into anything new right now. This is intense. So you can't just go and just jump in. The, you know what I mean? Like some people, they jump and they be in a relationship in next week. Like Scorpio, like we got to feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me see the Ace of Coins. We got to feel it. The Two of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You want something. I keep getting that. Like you want something more solid. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you're very. Your person is either a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The lovers, oh my God. The lovers is also about a choice in love too. And this can very well be your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever's going on here with this person. You know what I mean? This could very well much be that, but I just feel like you're at a stag, it's stagnant right now. And one thing Scorpios don't like doing is waiting, especially waiting on anybody. We don't need to be waiting on nobody. I don't fuck all that runner chaser shit. No, mm-mm. You love me, you in love with me, then you should be here. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. Nobody should come between us. No third party. None of that shit. I don't want to hear none of these excuses. Okay? And I feel like you're, you don't, you don't want to. Like, you would love it if it would, if this person just cooperated. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you have to do what's best for you with the two of pentacles, the knight of pentacles in reverse and the five of pentacles is like your person is being distant for some of you you haven't talked to this person in a while you know what i'm saying let's see the devil card in reverse something had you in bondage here scorpio because your overall energy is a nine of swords in reverse that's like coming out of like worrying anxiety Sleepless nights, you know, stressing about something. The star in reverse with the two of pentacles. There you go again with that two of pentacles energy. Just fucking, you know. But I get for a lot of you with the star in reverse. Could be an Aquarius. You, the toxic energy was holding on to this with the star. I believe, I believe this person is going to, you know what I mean? Four of pentacles. The lovers, you see? The lovers coming out on top of the devil in reverse. I can't make this shit up. I believe four of pentacles. You, you're Scorpios. We hold on. We believe in love. Like, you know what I mean? Like when a Scorpio love your ass, we love your ass. I believe this. I, like four of pentacles. Like you were holding on to this so heavily, so strongly. Yes, I believe this is my soulmate. This is my twin flame. I will endure anything. I don't care if it takes them 25,000 years to come back. I love them. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. You were holding on to this so fucking tightly to the point that it had you in bondage, Scorp. 
Y'all know I'm going to keep it fucking 100 with you always. I'm not going to come on here and read no fairy tales and giving you no feel-good messages just to get no views. I'm going to keep it real with you because I want you to be your highest self. You hear what I'm saying? If I see a fairy tale in the cards, I'm going to give you your fairy tale. But I'm going to give you the real. And the real is, is that this was toxic. You holding on to this? I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe is it was fucking, no, bondage. And you finally have released it. That's why your overall energy is the nine of swords in reverse. You're no longer stressing about this. You're no longer allowing this to keep you up at night, worrying, having anxiety about this. Page of Cups in reverse, King of Coins, Six of Cups in reverse. Do you see what I'm saying? The Six of Cups in reverse. A lot of you, this has to do with the past person. You finally releasing this person, letting this person go to see something else out here that's more strong for you. Okay. And a lot of you, your your money, your career is helping you with that. You know what I mean? Like, but your person, the page of cups in reverse can sometimes mean like, you know, being hurt, you know, but your person is coming off very emotionally immature. They're possibly not ready for the intensity that you, that you're bringing. And some of y'all got a new soulmate coming through anyway. Okay. Somebody who is very, you know, loyal and faithful and somebody who wants to be present in your life. You get what I'm saying? Let me look from another deck for you, Scorp. How does Scorpio feel about this person? How does Scorpio feel about this person? Five of Cups. King of Swords in reverse. There's that King of Swords again. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Nine of Pentacles. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Four of Pentacles in reverse. One last card, how Scorpio feels about this person. Eight of, or the seven of pentacles in reverse and the justice card. Libra energy. You, for some of you, you feel like you've been wasting your time with the seven of pentacles in reverse and the four of pentacles. Like it's time to let go. Like you've been holding on to this too tightly. And some of you feel like you've been wasting your time and your energy. Okay. The seven of pentacles in reverse can mean like investing in something and it's not going anywhere. The five of cups with the king of swords in reverse. Some of y'all, this person is not talking to you. Or if they are, I see the king of swords in reverse can be somebody very cruel. It could be somebody nasty, mean, holding a grudge. You know what I mean? So five of cups is like that Scorpio energy, but that's like disappointment, sadness, regret. You know what I mean? Missing somebody, a loss. You know what I mean? But you still got your nine of pentacles here. Like I'm still the shit. I'm independent. I'm strong. Minor arcana card for the empress. I know my worth. And if this person can't really see that, then that's on them. But Show me the King of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Wands with the Temperance in reverse. Sagittarian energy. 
some of you communicated with this person you sent this person a message and they didn't respond or something like that it could be somebody's for a lot of you i just got for some of my scorpios this person from your past this could be somebody that's holding unforgiveness like they're still upset about something that happened between you and them and they're being cold about it that's not for all of you but for a specific scorpio i'm getting that but the eight of wands is about fast action like communication so for some of you, it could be that this person, you tried to communicate with them, they didn't respond, or they're not communicating with the temperance in reverse. The temperance in reverse can mean this person could have other things going on in their life. They could be still upset at you about something. Or it can be, you know, this person not communicating how you want them to is what's kind of frustrating you, okay? So let's go into the extended now, Scorpio. We're going to do a full spread on your person. Um, I'm curious to see how this person feels about you. Do, if they plan on coming out of this King of Swords in reverse, King of Swords energy, and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And then I'll also get advice for you from the universe. Okay, Scorpios, this was a heavy one. I love you guys. I'm giving you a hug through the computer. You guys stay strong. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't let this stop you. And um, I'll be praying for you, of course. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. I will appreciate that. And um, I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.